think? A little fancier than I'm used to. Mary's place never had anything this good. I'm sorry. Something, isn't it? Sailing along great, and all of a sudden, poof, it's gone. I drove by on my way here. So did I. Vince and I made it work, you know that? By the seat of our pants, but we made it work. Vince in bad shape? Oh, you know Vince. He acts like it's nothing. Takes care of everybody else. He's dying inside. You want some help unpacking this? Yeah, thanks. I asked uh, Vince if he'd like to come here and co-manage with me. Oh, Mac won't mind. Of course he wouldn't. What would Vince say? He said he'd think about it. Will he? For about five seconds. Well, it was a nice offer. Well, there'll never be another restaurant like Mary's place. Not for Vince, anyway. What are you so depressed about? I'm not depressed. Yes, you are. I just started the new year off with a bang, that's all. Uh-huh. Don't tell me. Fireworks with Iris. Iris has given Amanda an assignment to go undercover. As what? As a customer for a dating service. Why would she want to do a thing like that? I don't know. Iris has got her thinking that she's George Plimpton or somebody. I thought you and Mac wanted Amanda to start slow. Yeah, well, that seems to have been going by the boards lately. On account of Iris? Iris doesn't care about Amanda. I mean, the last person she wants to help is Amanda. You don't have to convince me. Amanda's an, a talented writer, but if she doesn't get more experience and more training, she's going to get herself in trouble. It's too much pressure. Why do I think that Amanda doesn't agree with you? Because Iris has taken Amanda under her wing. Iris has become her mentor. Iris has never been anybody's mentor but Iris's. Unless Iris is trying to get to me. I wish I knew what she was doing. Is anybody hurt? I couldn't think. Mr. McKinnon came in. You should have seen his face. They would have said something if somebody had been hurt. I just had to get out of there. Did you put the keys back? Yes. Careful. I didn't touch nothing but the door. You were smoking. No, I wasn't. You know you were. Well, so what? Well, maybe you you threw down a cigarette or a match. I didn't, all right, Pa? You do it all the time. We set that fire. You, you don't know that, Pa. You don't know that. How else did it happen? So what are we going to do now? I don't know. Nothing. We ain't going to do nothing, all right? No. We're going to call the police. Are you crazy? Huh? Ruben, they are in on this already. They're gonna find out that we were they there. They're gonna find out nothing. What if somebody saw us? What if we left fingerprints? We'll talk to them. We'll. we'll... Pla, I said no, okay? Now put it down. Please listen to me. How are we gonna explain that, Pla, huh? How are we gonna explain that we was in there in the first place? You want me to tell the cops that I was going to rid the place off, but suddenly I just changed my mind, huh? You want that? They'll believe us. Oh, come off it, Pilar. Ain't nobody gonna believe nothing we say. Cops don't listen to people like us. Mrs. McKinnon. What? She'll listen. I mean, she's gonna come back in a few days, and I'll talk you to her. You ain't gonna talk to nobody, you understand me? Huh? So what are we gonna do? We ain't gonna do nothing. We're just gonna chill out and let this whole thing blow over. Closed up, right? Before Mr. Hudson and Mrs. Watts came? Yeah. What is it, Mr. McKay? Well, I left a little dinner for John and Charlene, but I was in kind of a hurry because Mary and I were throwing a party. I, I just wonder. What? You say the. The fire started in the kitchen, right? You wouldn't do mm -hmm. that, Vince. I've worked with you before. I might have this once. No I way. Do you have any insurance records I can just take a look at? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is part of standard procedure. No, 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 no. This man has lost more than a business. He's lost part of his hey, life. Hey, 
It's okay. But Vince, it's not okay for her to ask you questions like Jake, this right now. Jake, She has to. Why don't you go see how Marley is? I got him out early. I figured that uh, you may want to take a look at him. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, yes, I did have insurance. As much as I could have without squeezing too tightly, but... You know, if... If you... If you think for one minute that I... That I would burn down a place that I named after my wife, you know, after my family, Mary's place... Miss McKinnon, you said so yourself. I am just following the rules. <sighs> you know, I was not a wonder as a, as a provider. I went from job to job. Mary's place was... was my shot at something real. Miss McKinnon, I know you had nothing to do with the fire, but we have to investigate all the angles, especially after what the forensics department turned up. See, we have reason to believe that the fire could have been arson. Uh, 